He just said, why is Reed doing this? What? He didn't know anything about science. Well, I'm doing it out of sheer curiosity. You've used that quote about you're not sure that there are little green men. You don't necessarily believe in that. We don't know. The fact is we don't know what it is, right? Or where they're from. We do not know. What, what I have learned is you cannot just hide your head and say it does. these things aren't happening. We have military installations where hundreds and hundreds of people who are there see these things. And as I said, it's a worldwide phenomenon not just here in the United States. There are certain places we really don't understand why, that there's more occurrences um, and have been over a long, long time. Sure, John knew what I was doing. I mean, he didn't, he didn't uh, hide the fact that he was interested also. That's why, they, that's why he wrote the letter. The detection system would tell us about UFOs, but it could also tell us about Russian missiles that might be coming our way. I mean, there's practical benefits to these kinds of studies. Of course. It suggests that maybe there are other studies or programs that uh, that w might shed light on this. Other mystery. programs that have been um, done and information they have, including different um, pieces of evidence. We as a country are certainly not doing what we should do. This is an area that is important to not only our country but to the world. And I know that other countries are doing more than we're doing. And I think that... Um, that's not good. There are those who think we're on the edge of disclosure, that any day now they're going to open up the doors and show us the saucers or open mm. the files. Uh, I'm not as encouraged. What about you? Well, I don't think I'm even close to that. I think until, before we get to um, that, I think we need to do a little work. And we're not doing enough scientific research. Um, and there are people hungry to do that. We have academics who are trained in all the sciences, uh, a grant to a college would be a tremendous help. Um, they could put it out to bid, you know, like they do, find out who would, who would do the best job. But the way it is now, we're doing nothing. You, you've said about you don't think it's little green men, and we had a lot of speculation about where these vehicles are, are from. They're far more advanced than anything known to us. Is it possible that nobody really, there's no one who knows the ultimate answer, what's, what the truth is? I think is? now, and the reason I'm so terribly interested in this, is I don't think no one has the answers. And that is too bad because there are answers out there. But we're not going to get answers just by hoping they come. You can have to take some work. Um, the idea of disclosure, are, have you had conversations with colleagues about the wisdom of letting all this loose? Is the public ready for it? Depends on what it is, I guess. I don't think that Congress can make this decision on their own. They could try to pass a law, but that would create a lot more problems than it would solve because there's a big public debate on this. I don't think at this stage it would do a lot of good. Pentagon needs to get somebody within the Pentagon that's willing to do something that's a little different.